Welcome to Model Railroading with an Overroad Truck Driver. In today's episode, we're going to talk about building a Walters Cornerstone Grain Bin molded in, in, molded in silver plastic. But I've actually already built this thing prior to me thinking about doing these videos. So this guy is, uh, well, in the kit here it shows what it looks like on the one bin. It is five and a half inches diameter and six and a half inches tall. So I actually have gone in this H hole scale and I've gone ahead and built it already. And this is the finished product, what it looks like. It took me two, yeah, two sessions. Roughly, well, I mean, I took my time at it. Maybe 45 minutes per session. While I was watching some TV, while I was on the road, at some, some of my, uh, I actually had to sit at a, sit one day, and I figured I was, and I had to run past my favorite hobby store in, in Ontario, the Credit Valley Railroad, in uh, Mississauga, Ontario, where I bought this guy from. I was sitting in Mississauga, and I had some time to kill. So, figured, well, then they're just sitting there twiddling my thumbs. So let's go buy a kit, and let's, let's buy some glue. And, hobby knife and I actually got them still in the truck here actually uh, so I started having my own on onboard modeling kit kits or tools so I actually was gonna show you how to paint this thing I was gonna use um, crafters ar acrylic paint all-purpose paint uh, silver mooring to make it give it that shiny look but I realized I brought the wrong paintbrush I got one of these um, foam suckers and uh, I don't think it's going to give me the quite the look I want. I want it to get the paint into the grooves, and this is might just kind of glop it on there. So, maybe I'll do that in a later episode. I'll start painting it. I'll actually use a proper paintbrush and give it a proper paint job. But this is episode four, building a Walters kit grain bin. And I like I like I like grain bins. I like farming. So this is up my right up my alley. Hoping one day I get a future layout or better advance in my modeling techniques and I build a mod more modules for the the number one northern division HO Fremo group based out of Winnipeg Manitoba area which I'm the, the head on show for. So anyways thank you for watching Model Railroading with an overall truck driver episode four. Have a good night. Bye.